Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're going to be using Alolan Raichu. Now, Alolan Raichu is pretty interesting. It has a really good speed tier, uh, allowing it to speed type a Pokemon such as Gengar. Uh, actually having Psychic as Stab is really nice because it gives it a way of threatening Pokemon like Rhydon, which is really nice. As well as super effective versus fighting types. Calm Mind for boosting, and then it does have Encore. Encore is pretty interesting because, for example, if I lead... Um, or if I predict someone to go for Roost, to go for Soft Boil, to go for Stealth Rock, I can encore them that, or I can encore them into that, excuse me, and force them to go for that move again while I'm able to set up. So hopefully we can get something going with this thing. It doesn't have the best defense, doesn't have the best HP, but good speed and decent special attack stat. Now, if you guys missed any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, there is a playlist down below. I encourage you to check that out. Also, feel free to keep suggesting Pokemon. I will be getting to all of them. Don't worry, I'll be getting to all of them. I even see some crazy ones, like I've seen Dragonair, I've seen Kakuna. I might do some like fun battles with friends with that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, if you guys also want to check out the guide to team building, that is linked down below. But let us get right into the battles. All right, guys, we got our first game now. Raichu doesn't have the best matchup in this. Uh, Jolteon, uh, Pikachu, which is faster, uh, Mega Beedrill potentially as well. Like a whole bunch of threats that are faster and threaten it. Uh, but I think Mega Zam isn't going to come out this game because they do have Beedrill, but I mean, they could still bring it. I have Sand Slash, Snorlax, and Raichu to all check that. We're going to go Needle Queen route. We're going to get up Rocks. Uh, I definitely think that's useful for my, um, well, first off, for my Raichu. And secondly, Needle Queen matches up well versus everything besides Alakazam as elite. So getting up Rocks early uh, versus this guy. They do have one Rocker, which is a Alolan Sand Slash, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I do think that Raichu is going to be nice just for chipping away at things, but I don't think it's going to be sweeping in this game at all. This isn't like the type of game where it can definitely sleep. Now, I gotta be a little bit careful because Jolteon is a problem, and if I let Needle Queen get too weakened, I could lose to it. Actually, no, never mind. Forget that. I'm not gonna lose to Jolteon. Anyway, they lead off with Sand Slash. So, this is good and bad. Uh, good because I can get on my rocks. I'm assuming they're gonna do the same. And bad because obviously they're gonna do a good chunk with Ice Punch, right? But I do value rocks a lot. I wish I had Flamethrower. They might fear it. I do have Surf on this thing because it KOs right on, which I think would be really nice for Kangaskhan. Uh, but I'm assuming we're gonna exchange rocks here. Let's see, yeah. So we do exchange rocks, not bad. Now, one Pokemon they have trouble switching into is my uh, my Poliwrath. They have a lot of trouble switching to Poliwrath. Their two fighting resists are not very good Pokemon at defensive wise, right? Beedrill and Alakazam. So we are gonna go Poliwrath here on the anticipated, uh, mainly because it's, it's just really here for this Sand Slash. But on the anticipated um, Ice Punch or Earthquake, Earthquake is actually a pretty good play because it's a good mid-ground. It hits my Ice Resist decently. So I wouldn't mind them going for that. They go for Ice Punch, though. Please don't freeze me. Nice. Okay, so I have a choice here. I can either go for Super Power or I can go for Waterfall. Because Sand Slash can't do much to me, I am going to go for Waterfall. Just in case they want to be a little bit crazy and go hard out like a Zam, right? I'm adamant Polyrath. But I don't, and I don't, I don't think I knock out Zam, but it's gonna be good damage. Like this is gonna hit everything. They go Jolteon on the Super Power. That's not bad. Um, oh, had I went Super Power, obviously Jolteon would have tanked it. But I do value this damage on Jolteon because now it goes down to Thunderbolt. So best play, easily my Needle Queen. Needle Queen is here for Jolteon and specifically here for Jolteon. It also checks Pikachu as well. But I feel like Kangaskhan would fake out into any attack and check Pikachu as well too, so. Not a big deal. One thing to note as well, my opponent does not have an Earthquake Resist. See, I think they should have Shadow Balled there. Been a little bit more aggressive because I pretty much either get a KO or pick up a 2 KO or Earthquake here. They may yawn trying to set up for a, a Calm Mind Alakazam or a Fleck. That works too. I've actually kind of liked Yawn Jolteon a lot or even Roar. Maybe I'm thinking about the wrong... Eevee though, does Jolteon get Roar too? I'm pretty sure Jolteon does. I know Vaporeon gets it. But I wanted to mess around with that. I have a Jolteon that I will be using at some point. But yeah, Jolteon's gone. The Reflect is up, which is a little bit scary. Just a little bit. But, what I'm thinking is they're gonna try and go Alakazam and Calm Mind, right? Like that's the reason why you would get up a Reflect there. So I may just play a little bit aggressive right now and go for Dragon Tail. I may just go for Dragon Tail. Now, the thing is, if they Mega Evolve, I'll probably get taken out by Psychic, because I'm not sassy. Hmm. The better play is to go Snorlax and Self-Destruct. That is definitely the better play. That's it. Let me not risk Needle Queen when it actually still takes on Pikachu, which is a problem for me. 
Uh, we'll pause it real quick, guys, because I got uh, the bell I have to answer. And uh, I'll be right back. But I'm basically going to be going for self-destruct here. Sorry about that. You guys missed the boom. But basically, I went for self-destruct and uh, Alakazam went down. So, a few plays I have. Um, I do like Raichu because it's very, very fast versus my opponent. But they can also bring out Beedro as well. So, I think that Kangaskhan is my best play. Uh, Kangaskhan just comes out now. It gets a fake out on Beedro. If they go Pikachu, I get a fake out too. So, I'm not too worried. It just sucks that that opponent doesn't have anything really weak to Electric or Psychic. Yeah, we Mega Evolve here and Fake Out for sure. Uh, Pikachu's gonna take so much from this. Ooh, a switch. Are they gonna go Sand Slash? They have to bring out Arcanine. Now, I'm not sure Arcanine actually takes um, Fake Out into Earthquake. I don't think it does. But if they are Jolly Arcanine, they will be able to outspeed me because I am adamant. So maybe their thought process is, okay, we'll bring an Arcanine here, and then I'll go for the Superpower. I could get in Raichu now. Avoid the Superpower and then go for a Thunderbolt. I think that's a fair play. Uh, if they go for Flare Blitz, great play, but I think Superpower would be their... Their play, and if they go for Super Power, I can actually Encore them and then throw off a Thunderbolt after slash Psychic. So let's see if they go for it, because that way they're forced to go for it again and not a Flare Blitz. Look at Raichu on its on its tail. So they do go for Super Power, nice. So again, what like I said, uh, this is where Encore is pretty cool, even though that does so much damage. Uh, at minus one, it won't be able to knock me out. So I can Encore them into that. I forgot Reflect was still out. That's why I did so little. I can Encore them into that. That way they can't go for Flare Blitz after. Oh, they switch out anyway. Into Sand Slash. All right, that's fine. Hmm. Because this is the one thing really stopping Kangaskhan from sweeping, I'm tempted to just go for uh, for Thunderbolt here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. I won't go down to Ice Shard anyway. And again, this Thunderbolt puts it in range of my uh, Kangaskhan, so I don't have to worry too much. So, kind of sucks. I wanted to show off Encore a little bit, and then I wanted them to switch in on my attack so I can get off two. But it's alright. Like I said, I don't think this was the game where, uh, where Raichu would be doing much, if anything. So, Pyrath is free here. Um, it basically just gets to click Sewer Power and picks up a KO. Uh, Beedro isn't really a, a problem at all. Uh, Lolan Sand Slash is really close to sweeping as well. Yeah, we're going to click Sewer Power, pick up a nice little KO. Too bad you guys didn't see me boom on the Zam. So basically the reason I had to go for self-destruct is because it would be the only move to knock out Alakazam through Reflect. Otherwise Alakazam would have lived everything and potentially been a problem with its high speed tier. Now I did have Fake Out and Sucker Punch on Kangaskhan and I also had SD Alolan and Sand Slash, but it still could have been an issue. Pikachu comes out. I, uh, I don't really see a reason to keep Polyrath alive. They may predict my Needle Queen, but basically, once I get a Needle Queen, I pick up a KO anyway. So they may go for, exactly, they might go for Splishy Splash predicting my Needle Queen because it was such an obvious switching. So, because I value Needle Queen, since once it comes in, Earthquake guarantees a KO, I'd rather keep in Polyrath here and potentially knock out the Pikachu. Big old Polyrath putting in some work. And this video might be about Polyrath, not even Alolan Lolan Raichu. I gotta change my intro if Polyrath puts in a lot more work than it. We'll see though. Alright, so the dude ended up uh, forfeiting. Disconnecting, not bad. It's alright, so we're gonna look for another battle. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, we got another game. Now, this isn't too bad for my Raichu. They got Venusaur, they got Cloyster, they got Needle Queen. Uh, I know for a fact my Kangaskhan is gonna be putting in some nasty work in this. So, I'm gonna leave Needle Queen. I want my rocks. I don't mind them getting up theirs as well. Uh, I actually need a little bit of chip damage on their. Uh, their Needle Queen for Raichu to knock it out anyway. And obviously if they lead up a Chansey, I can get off a, an Earthquake or a Dragon Tail. So just uh, just basically getting off enough damage on Chansey, because that's the main thing that takes a hit. Besides that, they do not switch into two Psychics at all with their team. So Raichu has a decent matchup in this one. Let's see if we can actually get a full game this time. Beedra has a lead, not too bad. Uh, I get a Brox here, and this is going to be really nice for Cloyster, obviously nice for Beedrill. My Kangaskhan, like I said, has a pretty decent matchup. I also don't think you 2 KO me with Drill Run, just because I am Impish uh, Needle Queen. Yes, I'm Impish running Surf, but Surf KOs right on, so it doesn't really matter about my nature. 
I doubt Mega Beedrill knocks me out. If it does, wow. And also, if it doesn't and I knock it out, that's so good for my, um... That's a crit, man. Why do I always get crit by drilling? Oh, wow, that's not? Are you serious? Is that Adam in nature? How'd you do so much damage? That's insane. That has to be adamant. Unless I'm running the wrong, uh, the wrong Eevee spread. I might be my sassy one. That might be my bad. That is so much damage. This is why I like Mega Beedra, Mega Beedra a lot. Hmm. Yeah, th this guy's like, this guy's adamant Beedra. Wow. That is adamant Beedra. That kind of changes my game plan a little bit. Just because of the amount of damage it puts in. Alright, so we're just going to Dragon Tailor just in case they U-turn predicting me to switch. They shouldn't. They should go for another drill run. They go for Brick Break actually predicting me to switch in the Kangaskhan. So, I get some Dragon Tail damage off. Nice. That's good for Fake Out. Limit that switching. Maybe I'll get in Dragonite. I wouldn't mind that. I get in Venusaur. Uh, the fact that they have Chansey is annoying. They could Mega Drain here. They should Mega Drain here. I don't think I want to go hard Raichu though. I'll just go for Earthquake. I'll let them Mega. Uh, I'll, they can't Mega. They can't. They obviously Mega Beedrill, but. Wow, if I Earthquake on that Beedrill, it would have been gone. That dude really tried to predict me to switch. It's interesting though. They're actually running Adamant Beedrill. So I can get out Raichu now and uh, throw off a Psychic. Uh, if they go Chansey, I don't mind that too much. They can't, obviously, Thunder Wave uh, an Electro-type. Depending on what they go for, I might even be able to 1v1. Like, yeah, I definitely throw off a Psychic here. They may switch in because they can take a hit. I was thinking about doubling into Kangaskhan, but it's not worth it. Especially because I don't know how exactly they want to deal with this Chansey. Or, excuse me, my Raichu with this Chansey. Like, I don't, I don't know their exact thought process. Do they want to go for Toxic? Do they plan on soft boiling? I'm gonna make a pretty aggressive play and go for Calm Mind. Because if they end up getting up like a screen or something, I can Encore them into that. And I can use Alolan Raichu to potentially uh, pick up or force a KO. So let's see how they uh, how they play out right here. Because they may try and go for Thunder Wave predicting my switch. They go for Stealth Rock. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. This is where Encore basically allows me to pick up a KO with Psychic. And they can't stop it. So watch this, I awkward them their Stealth Rock. They're forced into it. And then I click plus one Psychic and I either KO or two a KO whatever's forced to come in. If they stay in, I beat Chansey 1v1. So yeah, Psychic basically either picks up a KO or uh, or two a KO on something. Needle Queen will drop, Dragonite will be two a KO, Venusaur should drop, Cloyster will drop. I mean, if they wanna stay in, I'm okay with that too. This is why Encore is such a cool move. And I'm not going to click anything besides Psychic. It just hits way too much. Go ahead and get 1v1. I could have Calm Minded ever, but... Go ahead and get 1v1 by Raichu. We Encore them again. Into Stealth Rock. They could switch out to Beedrill. But if they don't... Ah, go ahead and keep doing it to him. Raichu hitting that Encore. That's what I like to see. Not bad. Finally, I'm actually able to show off Raichu a little bit. And it's crazy because if they actually do switch out and come back in, I may just be able to knock out Chansey. He looks so happy. They switch out. So whatever coming in is going to drop. Uh, just drop. Dragonite is going to be 2 ako Easily by Psychic. Easily. With Rocks up, I'm plus 1. So I think their thought process is, okay, they're going to do this and try and get in their uh, their their Beedrill after to revenge kill me, but it's a little bit too late. I just got rid of one of the biggest threats of my team with Alolan Raichu. That is what I like to see. This Pokemon putting in some clean work. If they go out to Chansey, I just click Psychic again. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, this thing beats Cloyster. Um, it beats Nidoqueen. It beats Venusaur. They have to go Beedrill, that's it. And take some Stealth Rock Chip, take that from that Dragon Tail earlier as well, not bad. Mm, they're gonna Drill Run here if anything. I guess they could U-Turn, 
but if they U-turn again, then they're in range of Ice Shard unboosted from my uh, Sand Slash. So we're getting Kangaskhan here. Doubt they Brick Break my Raichu. I absolutely doubt they Brick Break Raichu. Yeah, they Drill Run. They either Drill Run or U-turn. And I thought they were less likely to actually U-turn because of the fact that uh, Rocks were up. So just Mega Evolve here and click Fake Out. We'll be able to knock out Beedrill, which means Raichu is going to be the fastest Pokemon on the field. They'll probably bring out Cloyster after. I want to say they'll bring out Cloyster after. This is going to die. Oh, just barely missed out. But that doesn't really matter. They already showed two moves, so I doubt they have Roost. I'm pretty sure it's U-Turn and Poison Jab is the last two. So if it doesn't die, Sucker Punch is going to pick them off. There we go. Not even bad, but the, the cool part is Raichu actually 1v1 a Chansey. That's how it's supposed to be, and it took out Dragonite after, so I'm hyped about that. And another forfeit! Another forfeit by my opponent! They just disconnect, they can't handle it. <laughs> Alright, so this one's going to be a little bit of a shorter one because I have some people over. Um, but you guys saw Raichu with that Encore. I was basically able, um, um, I, I actually has to be a certain one because I, I do have people, but you guys saw Raichu put in some work there. It's crazy because if Raichu ever got in on Venusaur, I just click Psychic, I deal with that. I'm not, I'm not knocked out by Venusaur, so I Psychic to a KO. I Thunderbolt knock out the Cloyster, uh, Chansey dies to Psychic, uh, two Psychics, and if Chansey goes for Soft Blood, I Encore into that and I just go for Calm Mind. Oof, that was hype, that was hype though, I'm happy about that. Happy about that. So that second battle, uh, even though my opponent ended up disconnecting, still uh, was a fun one. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, again, just because I have people over, please try and bear with me. Next one will be a long one. You know, you know if I promise you guys a long one in the next battle, you know it's going to be a long one. So tomorrow I'll give you guys like a 30 to 40 minute video uh, just to make up for this one. But hope you guys all enjoyed the Alolan Raichu putting in some work. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.